Well, I can't say I didn't see this coming, but I'm not gonna lie. I am pretty fucking upset. What's going on, guys? My name is Dia, and welcome back to a brand new video. I I've had about a day to sit on this, and I, I saw this go live probably an hour after it actually, you know, went live. I saw this about 5 o'clock yesterday, um, and it's from the H2 multiplayer mod team. For those of you who don't know, I haven't been keeping up with anything in the Call of Duty community. This is probably the biggest thing other than the release of Black Ops 6 that is coming out. Today, our team members received a cease and desist order on behalf of Activision Publishing in relation to the H2M project. We are complying with this order and shutting down all operations immediately and permanently. What is going on with this, is, with this H2M mod, is they were bringing Modern Warfare 2, like the original Modern Warfare 2 back in like 2009, bringing those assets into Modern Warfare Remastered and using the Modern Warfare Remastered engine to play it. The catch was you had to buy a Modern Warfare Remastered game that the mod team would then put the assets into the game and voila. I have been talking to a couple people about this and I really don't see the pro like most of the problems. One person suggested that the reason that they did this was because they are using assets from a game and an IP that they don't own, thus being Call of Duty and Modern Warfare 2 in 2019, and they're redistributing. So it's some form of piracy. But games do this all the time. Black Ops 3, Black Ops you know what did it a lot i know like gmod uses their elements to create mods half-life and even modern games skyrim has an entire mod team skyrim is modded so much to the point where you can go and create a mod and if the developers over bethesda are like your mod they will put it in the creation club so it's much easier for other people to download and if they don't like it there's even a website that you can go to i won't say the name allows you to download mods there so games are doing this why this one uh, I am pretty fucking upset about it. I'm not gonna lie. I went out and bought all of the Call of Duty titles. They were all on sale. You're probably asking, why the hell would I do this when I only need Modern Warfare Master? I was going to buy Modern Warfare Master. I even have them downloaded right now. I can go ahead and play all of the campaign. Wanted to play the campaigns into a big campaign playthrough, going from Modern Warfare, the original Modern Warfare, but the 2017 version, because the same thing, just remastered all the way up to black ops 6 i have never played like, vanguard i never played world war 2 or not world war 2 sorry um and I, I never played uh, infinite warfare i never played either of those campaigns but i would also be playing those for the first time and sharing those with you guys this was this big marathon i was gonna do i had a plan and everything also the game was on sale until yesterday at 1 p.m and they shut down the mod they shut down the mod right as the sale ended because the sales ended about 1 p.m at least in my area and this went out about 3 30 it's it's insane to me like they take your money and leave now am i surprised no division is they're being greedy i mean they just are they're they're taking the work that this mod team made zero dollars and zero cents out of and basically saying fuck you take it down we don't like it and the reason being i don't honestly know i guess it's piracy and my guess is monetization and when I say monetization, they want you to get on the most recent COD. They want you to get on Modern Warfare 3, which is still a good game. I'm not going to lie. I still think it's a good game. I'm, just because they did this shitty ass thing does not mean it's a bad game. They want you to go on that game and spend all your money. I would also like to remind anyone that doesn't know that Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered was like top three, if not top, a top five top selling game on Steam when when this when they were selling it. When the people were buying it to play this mod, it ended up shooting up in sales drastically. And if you go to the if you go to the Steam page, I mean six percent of reviews, it's getting review bombed to shit. Six percent on Modern Warfare Remastered. Fucking product, product refunded, product refunded. This person, I guess, is asking for a refund or hasn't done it yet. And they're talking about nuking the project, killed H2M, refunded because fuck Activision, they made decent games, the fan wouldn't need mods. I think, eh, yeah. This person can't refund it because he's played over two hours. They come like I play H2M, but they don't want to make the game functional. I'm going to get robbed, the game publisher, send a cease and desist, yep. I mean, people are, are insanely aware. Modern Warfare 3, 26% of the recent 611 reviews are positive and 31 overall. It's getting, they're all getting review bombed to shit. Um, the, what about Modern Warfare 2? Oh yeah, 29% positive in the 264 recent reviews, and here you have 19% in 6,000 reviews are saying it's positive. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't seen this much fucking support for, to, to like, band together in fucking ages. I think the last time, I don't remember the last time I saw it was like, Helldivers? Every, the, the reviews bombed on Helldivers? They never undid it, but I mean, the game went from being amazing to nobody, to nobody playing it as a barren wasteland because certain parts of the world couldn't play it, so Helldivers is just dead. I was really looking forward to it. I was really angry yesterday. I don't typically get very angry when it comes to stuff like this, but I'm definitely like, I, 
I don't know. I don't know what else I can. What else could happen? What else can be said? Everything that has been that needs to be said has been said on YouTube, on Twitter, on Steam, on probably other services. It fucking sucks. I will say, if you plan on playing multiplayer within any of these Steam games for Call of Duty, do not, do not. I have heard multiple, multiple, multiple things on them saying or people saying that they're not safe, that don't do it, that your IP can get pulled, they can pull all your information because the servers are not secure because they don't take the time to take care of them, which I <sighs> they make so much money, I don't see why that they uh they can't do that, but that's a not my concern, not my problem. They just want to force you onto the most recent game to get you to spend all your money, which it is what it is. Yeah, it just if I that's why the only reason I'm considering keeping them is because for the campaigns because I have people in my life who have never experienced them and there's things I want to replay, so I spent all this money to be able to play them. So we're going to see how it goes. Um, I have till the 25th, which is 9 days to make a decision before I fall out of the refund window time. And if I keep them until after the 25th, like if even if it's the 26th at midnight, uh, I got to keep them. I won't get a refund. Steam won't allow it because it falls out of the 2 week window. And so I have 9 days to make a decision. We have a lot of stuff coming up as well. We have this if I choose to follow through, we have Black Myth Wukong coming out next week. Uh, it's supposed to come out, it was supposed to come out on the 20th, but I think I got moved forward to the 19th. And then we have uh, the casting of Doc, of casting of Dr. Stone. Uh, that comes out on September 3rd. We'll definitely be playing that. And then in October, we have the Silent Hill 2 remake. I've never even seen an ounce of footage of Silent Hill, but we're going to play it because that'll be our scary game for the month. I got a lot of stuff to figure out, but I really hope you guys do enjoy what's coming forward. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow or lets you know they enjoy the content. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future. Until next time, this is Dia signing off. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.